Hey everybody, in two weeks, Ed and I will be going to the St. Louis NARBC, or North American Reptile Breeders Conference. It'll be going on on Saturday and Sunday, November 12th and 13th, and Ed and I will be there the entire weekend. We'll have booths, and we'll be selling merch, and we can't wait to meet everybody. We have three pretty big announcements, actually, that are related to this show. First and foremost, like other NARBCs, there is a dress code. It's not Where's Waldo like it was at last Tinley. Instead, as you can probably guess, we're going back to the 80s for the St. Louis show. And just like other shows, we have, where is it? There it is. We have a limited edition snake discovery pin that goes along with the theme. This one is a ball python, of course, wrapped around Rubik's Cube with cool shades on a ball python from the 80s. So the first, what are we doing? 50 people who find us on Saturday when it so. opens to the public at 10 a.m. First 50 people who are also in costume, I should mention, will be getting one of these limited edition pins. And on Sunday, the first 40 people to find us when it opens at 11 to the public will also have a chance to get one of these pins. So if you don't, if you miss out on Saturday, you can still get one of these pins on Sunday. So please arrive with your best 80s attire. I feel ridiculous right now, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Also, if this video gets 150 views, Emily has to wear that. No, no, 150, 150,000. Oh. Yeah, 150. 100, I don't want to wear the tutu. Um, <laughs> there is a tutu that came with this outfit. I don't want to wear it, but if this video gets to 150,000 views, I will wear it to the St. Louis show. So anyway, that is our dress code for the upcoming NARBC show. Can't wait to see everybody's 80s outfits. The second big announcement of three is that we are doing another adoption event at this show. Because the adoption event with leopard geckos went so well at Schomburg, we found so many amazing forever homes for the adopt or the surrendered leopard geckos. We are gonna be bringing more leopard geckos that need homes. This is Cheese. Cheese is a six-year-old leopard gecko who's very, very very curious. Yeah, we had to get a bin because he wouldn't stop moving around the table. He kept going everywhere. So yeah, he is going to be joining us if he isn't adopted already beforehand. And in addition to bringing leopard geckos with, with us to this show, we will also be bringing bearded dragons for adoption. Oh my goodness, Finn. It's okay. This is Finn. Finn is a one-year-old bearded dragon. Beautiful leatherback too that was surrendered somewhat recently. And he is out of quarantine, so he's up for adoption. The bearded dragons though, we're only going to be bringing if they are pre-adopted just because they take up so much more space. So if you are interested in adopting a bearded dragon and you are planning on going to the St. Louis show or you would be willing to go to meet us to pick one up, please email me at sales at snakediscovery.com. We have so many bearded dragons that need homes. You can check out everyone that is available on Snake Discovery's Facebook page. We have a photo album of animals that are currently available for adoption, a lot of which are bearded dragons. So we're hoping to have some pre-adoption uh, bearded dragons to bring along with us too, but it'll just be the beardies and the leopard geckos that we bring with us to St. Louis. All right, third big and final announcement. Mm -hmm. We officially have Snake Discovery Coloring Books Volume 2 and calendars for 2023. I'm not gonna show you the insides. We haven't quite announced them yet, except for I guess right now, but these just came in. They will be on our website, available for sale mid-November. It's just not set up quite yet, but if you wanna get these early, you can buy these at our tables at the St. Louis show before they're even available to the public online. So definitely come check out the show. There's gonna be so much going on. It'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll find some great homes for some of these adoptable rescued animals and it'll be yeah it'll be a crazy but fun weekend so again november 12th and 13th so in just shy of two weeks we will see you at st louis